What's going on YouTube? This is ParkerLad88 coming at you with another video for Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. And today we are going to be doing a character breakdown for Ranger Slayer. Similar to my other character breakdowns, I'm going to be running through the move list, we're going to do some combos, and then we're going to talk about a game plan for Kimmy. So, let's go ahead and get started. So guys, as you can see, Kimmy is of the lighter characters in this game, so as a result, she actually has some pretty decent movement to go along with it. Moving into her um, normal attacks, she has the uh, standing light here. We have crouching light. We have standing medium, which fires arrows. Crouching medium, which gives you the slide here. We have standing hard, which actually is... Uh, it's okay. And then we have crouching hard, which is her launcher. Moving into her aerial attacks, she has the jumping light. We have Jumping Medium, which just gives you air arrows. And then we have Jumping Hard, as you're going to see though. And those are pretty much all of her aerial normals. Moving into her command normals, uh, the first one, she has the Sparta Kick. Uh, the Sparta Kick gives you a hard knockdown, but because of the uh, impracticality as far as combo-wise, in fact, the range isn't, isn't so great, I don't feel like that move is really all that good. You can do something like this, but as far as I've been able to tell, that's really all you can actually get off of that move. Let's talk about her uh, command arrows. So if you press uh, forward with medium attack, she'll fire the arrows up in like a parabolic arc uh, type daily, which I just simply call up arrows. And then she has uh, back arrows, which fires them at a slightly angled upwards type angle, just with a uh, back and medium. And uh, that pretty much does it for all of her command normals. The main ones that you're going to be using with Kimmy are going to be the slide, of course. The slide has a lot of range, and the fact that you can actually cancel it into other things to either hit confirm combos or to make yourself uh, safe definitely makes it uh, a move worth using. Uh, your main jump in is going to be either your air hard or it's going to be your air light. The uh, air light has the ability to cross up. It's going to be your go-to cross up for her, so those are going to be your main air normals, and then mixing those up with her arrows are pretty much what you're going to want to do uh, with Kimmy. So that pretty much does it for all of her normals and command normals. We got Invincible Wake Up here. We have her throw. Back throw. And then we have her super. Uh, pretty cool looking stuff right there. Let's go ahead and move into her special moves. The first special move that we're going to do is going to be something I call Arrow Up. <clears throat> if you press her special button, she'll emit an aura, a pink aura like this, which will enhance all of her arrow-based attacks for each one that you use. In addition to helping her cover extra space, it also unlocks some uh, combo potential for Kimmy as well. Haven't been able to figure out everything, but, you know, the, the the fact that it just gives you those extra options is always nice in addition to the, string, the screen control. Uh, next up, she has what I call the leap. If you do forward in special, she'll do this leap forward, this giant leap forward like this, which covers uh, a lot of space. From the leap, you actually have a number of options that you can do. If you press the square button, she'll fire an arrow straight down the ground, like this. The only thing I actually really use this for is like a combo ender. If you do it with a triangle, she'll fire the arrows forward at her opponent. It's pretty cool because it actually does lead to combo opportunities. And then if you press it with circle, she'll actually follow the, follow, uh, fire the arrows behind her, which will lead to some uh, neat uh, cross-up shenanigans that you can do. Uh, she also gets combos after that with the enhanced arrows just because her slide uh, covers so much space. So you can kind of get things like, you know, like this and comboing into that, or you can get combos from this. Uh, there is a slight delay uh, whenever you do the uh, behind the cross-up arrows. You won't be able to do it like immediately. It just doesn't respond right away, so just keep that in mind as well. And uh, her last special move is going to be back with uh, special, and this does away arrows. This is a nice way to put some distance between you and your opponent and get yourself out of some trouble. It's a nice thing to do from the slide. If your opponent's blocking, you can do something like this, just to put some space between you and your opponent. And that pretty much does it for all of uh, Kimmy's special moves. So next, let's go ahead and start moving into combos. True to form, we're going to start with some easy combos. From there, we'll go into some intermediate combos, and then we'll try and do the, the most advanced combos that, I can, uh, that I've been able to figure out with Kimmy. 
So, the first combo we're going to do is the auto combos. Light auto combo here. Hard auto combo. Now, because Kimmy's medium attack is tied to her arrow, she actually doesn't have a medium auto combo, but you, you got those right there. Moving into her uh, easy combos, we have, we're going to do a crouching line, we're going to do a crouching medium, standing hard, and then we can do that into the Sparta kick. So you'll get something that kind of looks like this. And once again, the Sparta kick is going to be forward with hard. Another easy one that we can do is after we do the crouching string of crouching light and a crouching medium, we go into standing hard. We can do standing hard into arrow up because arrow up actually does have a hitbox attached to that. And then from that, we can actually cancel that into super. If you do choose to do that, whenever you do arrow up, make sure you do it as soon as you hit them with it. Just because the, the hitbox on uh, her super is uh, kind of specific and doesn't cover a whole lot of range. So basically, you'll get something that kind of looks like this. So that's a nice easy combo that you can do for about like 35-ish percent or something akin to that. Uh, the next one, we're going to do a basic air combo where we'll do crouching light into crouching medium into crouching hard, which is our launcher. And then from there, we'll just go light into hard, which will spike him back down to the ground. So you should be able to get something that kind of looks like this. And that's going to be your most basic air combo that you will do with Kimmy. And that will do it for all of that stuff. So next, let's go into her intermediate combos. So in order to do this, um, once you do the light string of crouching light, uh, crouching light, medium, hard into launcher, what you're gonna wanna do after that is light medium. After you do the light medium, you'll want to do another slide. And then after you do the slide, you will do another launcher. After you do the launcher, you're going to want to arrow up, going into her, her enhanced state, which will give you enough time, uh, well, it'll put you at the right time to do um, her leap, because her leap actually does have a hitbox in the air. And from that, you will press the square option, which will fire the arrow straight down. So altogether, you should get something that kind of looks like this. And that's gonna be one of her intermediate combos. One thing that you can also do from this is after you do the launcher like this, you can do a super option where what you will do is you will do the uh, slide and then after you do the slide, you'll be able to cancel that into super. So you should be able to get something that kind of looks like this. So that's pretty much going to be your super option. So that does it for Kimmy's more intermediate combos. Next, we're going to move into more advanced combos. So this will basically involve us looping her slide into her launcher, which she actually gets about two times before she actually has to do another follow-up. So basically, whenever you do this into the slide, you'll do a launcher. And then after you do the launcher, you'll do arrow up. Once you arrow up, you will do another slide into launcher. You'll do an arrow up again. And then from the arrow up, you will do the leap into downward arrows. You can also do, uh, after you do the second loop of this, you can also do that into another slide into super. So altogether, you should be able to get something that looks like this. And then, of course, there is uh, this option as well. <clears throat> so those are those combos. Now, the, these combos are possible outside of the corner. The, there's no difference in the timing or anything like that. So you can actually do it outside the corner. as you can see there, if it doesn't already take you to the corner, because you'll be in the corner by the time you actually get to it anyway. All right, guys, so the next combo that I actually want to do with Kimmy is going to basically involve doing her leap. So like I said, the leap actually gives you like a full screen jump in, which you can convert into slide. And then from the slide, you'll basically just do the combo string that we did before, where we'll do crouching medium into her launcher, and then into the launcher, we'll do light medium 
we'll do that into slide, into launcher again, we'll do arrow up, we'll go up, and then we'll do the light option. So basically, you should be able to get something that kind of looks like this. So there's that option. We can also do leap into the crossup arrows and actually get the same combo. So you should be able to get something that kind of looks like this. Make sure that you're actually in the arrowed up state because you need all the arrows to hit so you can connect with the slide. Alright, the next combo that we're going to do with Kimmy is going to involve uh, using the arrowed up state. So you can do this in the corner, you can do this outside of the corner. I'm going to uh, demonstrate with it in the corner just because it's a little bit easier. So when you're in the arrowed up state, um, once you actually do launcher, you're going to jump up and do the light medium string. But you're going to do it when the opponent is at the top of their, uh, of their arc. So you're going to have to actually wait for a second before you actually jump after. It's going to be like this, and then you're going to jump and start doing the string. So you'll do um, light medium, and when you do the medium, it should actually hit them up higher. So you'll get something that looks like this. And it'll hit them up higher like that. This will allow you to jump up again and do another light medium string. And then after you do the second light medium string, you're going to come back down and you're just going to slide into launcher and we're going to finish the combo from there. So basically you're going to get something that kind of looks like this. And uh, yeah, that'll pretty much do it. Those are the most advanced combos that I can actually think to do with Kimmy. I can't do anything with like assist or anything like that. I haven't explored those. And uh, on top of that, Kimmy's usually the last on my team. So uh, I'm usually not gonna have them anyway. All right, let's, next up, let's talk about Kimmy's game plan. So Kimmy's game plan is going to be uh, screen control. What you're gonna wanna do is basically um, use a combination of your arrows in the arrowed up state in order to uh, control space between your mediums, your specials, and just doing all kind of manner of things like this to control screen space. Contrary to popular belief, Kimmy is actually not a spammable char uh, not a spam character. Her special moves actually do have enough recovery between them where you kind of actually have to make educated guesses about where your opponent's going to go before you shoot arrows. So she actually doesn't do well just like, you know, you spamming arrows and stuff like that because if an opponent knows what they're doing, they can actually navigate it pretty well. Uh, a couple of neat things to do. So one neat thing to do is when you do your up arrows, you can do up arrows and the screen space that you get from that will give you enough time to go into the arrowed up state so you can proceed to fire more arrows afterwards. Um, she can also chain her straight arrows into her other command arrows, like this. Or like this. You can also do that in a special, which is another neat thing you can do. You can do that in a special into like back arrows. Now one thing you can't do is you can't chain your straight arrow into arrow up into doing like other arrows, uh, or her other command arrows rather. But um, those are some options that you can do. And basically, it's all about mixing those up um, to frustrate your opponent and then doing other things like her slide, long range poke, and then her light, which is actually a pretty good cross up. And that does it for this Ranger Slayer tutorial. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think, and I'll be back at you later with future videos. This is going to be Parker Lad, and I will see you next time.